Another specific part of the brain uh, that we're going to talk about is something called the reticular formation. The reticular formation, uh, as you can see in this diagram, uh, is located within um, the interior of your brain. Uh, it's a little bit uh, more forward uh, than the cerebellum. Uh, you can see it uh, indicated right here. It's underneath the thalamus. Uh, and the major function of your reticular formation uh, is to filter out irrelevant stimuli. What I mean by that uh, is your brain is um, really overwhelmed and inundated with all sorts of input. Um, you have sense receptors that are sending massive amounts of information up to your brain. And of all that information, you pay attention to very little of it. Um, there's a lot that your sense receptors register that you never are actually really aware of. Uh, and the reason for that is your reticular formation. What your reticular formation, or um, as some textbooks will refer to it as, your reticular activating system, what it does uh, is it sort of makes the decision uh, about what are you going to focus on and pay attention to and be alert to, and what are you kind of going to just ignore. Uh, and so it's going to start filtering out the stuff that's not super important, uh, and it serves as that attentional filter. Um, it'll take some information and pass it along to the higher brain and say, hey, 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 look at this, pay attention. Uh, and then other stuff, it kind of just weeds out. Um, there's an interesting uh, experimental study um, done uh, on cats, actually, that demonstrated uh, something about the reticular formation and, and how it does this. Uh, there were two researchers uh, in the mid-1900s um, who stimulated uh, the reticular formation of a cat. And so when they stimulated it, the cat started to just race around like crazy, um, sort of went haywire and got like really, really excited, um, had all sorts of energy. Um, it was really as if they had um, fed the cat like a whole lot of caffeine and it was just going wild. And so they said, well, if this is what happens when we stimulate the reticular formation, what would happen if we destroyed it? Uh, and so what they did um, is they destroyed the reticular formation of the cat. Uh, and the cat immediately just keeled over into a coma. Um, and so without its reticular formation, the cat was literally unable to stay alert or to pay attention to anything because it was comatose. So your reticular formation does a lot of things, um, but one of the things that it does is it allows you to focus in on the world um, and it keeps you alert and aroused uh, and paying attention to things. And without one, uh, you'd be comatose.